there's an assumption which is being built into a lot of these plans, which is that it's really a small group of very big companies on both sides of the debate. Uh, and that just isn't the case. Uh, and so I think that the, what the danger is very simple, which is the danger is that what you're doing is putting in regulatory uh, proposals that will make sure that there are very few big tech companies. Um, and those very few big tech companies, call them, I call them GAFAM again, those companies can afford to pay the telcos in any way that they need to. You mentioned I'm, I'm sitting here in Melbourne. Um, and in, in uh, Australia, we have this news bargaining code, which is a way of the very big uh, news organizations, uh, Mr. Murdoch's newspapers, for instance, which have th uh, two thirds to three quarters of the newspaper market in Australia. Yeah, it's that much of the market. It's an incredibly high uh, number. Uh, so Mr. Murdoch and also the, the major commercial net, uh, TV networks being paid by big tech. Now, that's fine. That has nothing to do with democracy. That has nothing to do with uh, market entrance. That has nothing to do with uh, the flourishing of innovation. That's just basically a, a tax on the big tech companies to pay these big news providers. It's a political deal done under the previous government here in Australia. And if we try to move towards this, uh, this model that the telcos are suggesting, that's the danger. It doesn't hurt the really big content providers because they are truly enormous. But it affects the people at the margins, on the, uh, uh, particularly on the, on the content provider side. So, you know, if you want to hammer big tech, that's what the Digital Markets Act was for. And if that's what, and also to some extent, that's what the copyright directive, I suppose, um, is doing. Although it's again, the danger is the copyright directive doesn't affect the big tech companies because they already have the technological filters in place to deal with it. So the dangers are that you're basically just a, a, creating a self fulfilling prophecy. You are helping big tech by increasing the barriers to being able to provide content over networks.